Let's do it. <clears throat> Swan on, you can leave this part in if you want to. <laughs> Me half ass ready in my night shirt. This is actually a lucky shirt that I sleep in. I think you guys have seen me like wear it a couple times, but I try not to because it's literally 10 or 12 years. It's old. Okay. It is old. Anyway, here we go. Hey, Ewans. Welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV Mouth of the South with an intro, with an outro, and some of this old ho i don't know if that worked or not yes good evening sir good day sir hello how are you <laughs> i am all discombobulated let me get the stanley cup girl I'm, I'm a stanley girl now oh yeah it's on i'm a stanley girl and a, um what was the thing over the summer a water talker uh-huh i'm actually not but those waters do look good. Okay, I have a strange obsession. It's not a strange obsession. It is just another obsession that I don't think you guys know about. You kind of, maybe if you've watched me a while, had an inkling that she does this. I think I may have mentioned it a couple of times. But y'all know I love me some luxury and some handbags. You know I love t-shirts, okay? That is a given. I love tiny, 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 tiny little handbags. Yes, and at the end of this video, I'm going to show you one. Um, but this is about another obsession that I've had since I was a wee little child. And some of these date back to when I was probably in college. What? Yeah, I know. I'm just going to tell you what it is. It is Nike Cortez sneakers and Sebago dock sides. I cannot get enough. If I go in a store and they have Sebago dock sides in any color or form or material or whatever in my size, I'm probably going to buy them. I'm just crazy about them. I always have been since like the eighth grade. I love them. Since my sister bought me my very first pair. Yes, my sister bought them for me for Christmas one year and I have been hooked ever since. Okay, I'm going to show you those after I show you. I have a lot of Nike Cortez, but this is probably half of what I could dig out and find. <laughs> but here we go. And some of them have been worn to death. Some of them have never been worn. That's just who she is. But I love the Nike Cortez ever since probably middle school as well. I just have always loved them. Okay, let's just start out at this old pair. I've probably had this pair for 15, 20 years. I don't know. But yeah, this is a white, or it used to be white, with a navy swoosh, navy bottom. Girl, these I love, but when they changed to doing this, where the rubber part came up in the back, I still love the look of them, but they're not my most sought after, best favorite pair, just because I like the rounded off heel. This one is the same way. These are probably from, these are probably 20 years old. And you can see, I tried to wash these too. Remember cheerleaders used to wear these in uh, school? You guys, ours did anyway. And I never got this colorway until after I got out of high school because I was afraid like, oh my God, somebody's going to think I'm trying to be like a cheerleader. Not that that's a bad thing because cheerleaders were cool. I was friends with some of the cheerleaders. They were nice. And still to this day, am. Hey girl. <laughs> but I just didn't want to be like, oh, you're copying. You know what I mean? Kids are cruel. We were cruel back in the day and I was the number one culprit. So girl, apologies if you went to school with me. But anyway, I didn't get these till after way, 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 way after I got out of school. But this is like my second or third pair. But I tried to wash these and you see what they did. But I ain't getting rid of them. There's still soul on these, honey. Okay, these aren't really Cortez, but they looked so cute and they remind me of Cortez, but they're actually waffle runners from back in the day. I know that Nike, you know, after a while, because I have some really old Nikes over there, I could see them. But girl, after like Bruins and stuff, uh, I would love to have a pair of Marty McFly's, but who wouldn't? They're thousands and thousands of dollars. And I think when they did the whatever anniversary, 40th anniversary of the movie, was it? Yeah, they came out with 
a pair of them and they were just like goat carried them and they were so expensive i wanted them so bad but they're bruins anyway the marty mcflies but anyhow they start to melt the older the pears are and these go pretty far back they're not too bad because you can see when they started seaming them up and they used to do an orange all of the older Nikes had the orange. Yeah, but you know, then they started coordinating the colors of the shoe with the, right, the swoosh and all that. I get it. But anyway, I just think these kind of bring me Cortez vibes. And like I said, I could not find every single pair. I have a silver pair somewhere. I, I don't even know. And the most worn, girl, the most worn, and I'm not going to get rid of them. I am not. I don't ever wear them. I probably should get rid of them. And now I'm kind of scared to wash them because they're nylon ones. So they have leather and they have nylon, right? But I liked them so much when they came out with these pastel colors 20 years ago, girl, it's been a while. I had to have the baby blue and the baby pink. But you can see these are worn to death. I mean, she has worn these. I, I love, I love Cortez. All of these have been worn so far, really worn. Let's get into some that really kind of haven't. This pair I bought just maybe two or three years ago. Whenever I go to a Nike outlet and they have the odd pair and it is my size, I'm like, angels are singing. <laughs> There's a choir joining up. Ah! And all I can see is laser beam focused to that pair. I can find one pair of Cortez in the whole store and hoping, hoping, hoping they have my size. But anyway, yes, I bought these at Nike Outlet one year. It's not been that long ago, probably within the last four or five years anyway, with this gold swoosh. Ooh, they're giving me such vibes. The only thing is they cut them now so low and they have the rounded back, girl. That's my favorite kind that have the really rounded back and not the, like the tread that goes up. But these, I don't wear a whole lot, and I'll tell you why. You can see the soles of them. Because they cut them so low this way, now that I have a fat foot, they fit me fine. But when you're walking, it kind of flips off your foot a little. I can't deal with that. The flip, mm -mm. So I wore these a couple times, and I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But I want to bedazzle them. <laughs> I want a new pair. I have a new pair. I have a couple new pairs sitting here, but well, new-ish. One brand new that I've never worn. I think I've already showed you from this year. Within the past year, I'll say. Bill's kind of like, stop buying. The, like, he's really kind of like, okay, you know, I'm putting up with a lot here. You're buying all these bags and now you want to go back to your old ways and buy these Cortez and these dock sides. And I'm like, Sorry, but uh, you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. You can, but she reverts back to them old tricks every time. <laughs> I'm speaking from personal experience, but anyway. <laughs> oh! Yeah, so these flip off my foot a little bit. They're just cut so low right here. I don't know what they're thinking. Who are they making these for? Someone with like a very like non-arched, I don't know, it, flat foot? I'm not sure. Flat all the way? Like there's very little arch support in these and then they flip off your heel. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just my fat, you know, sausage-like foot. <laughs> Okay, so Bill bought me these for, I think, my birthday one year, and they're like a faux alligator type of print. Yeah, so the leather kind of looks, it was stamped in like an alligator looking print, and I just thought these were so cool. But again, the newer styles, they do want to slip off your foot, but they do have the rounded, and that's my favorite. So I love these while I love them. I hate them too. So it's a love-hate relationship with these things. But yeah, they these slip off as well. And not to be outdone, this year I found a pair of blue ones. A navy pair. But they do that thing in the back with the heel and that's okay. They're still very, very cute. But these, I haven't even worn them yet, guys, but these do come up a lot farther. See the difference? Like they're, well, I'll show you in a second, but they're, they come up, they're cut higher. So these don't slip off your heel. They actually fit your foot really well, as opposed to another pair that I bought at the outlet like several years ago in this neon pink. See, there's a difference in the, it's just lower. It's cut down lower. I don't know why they did that, but it's like the rounded pair that I love. 
or that I like or whatever, I have to sacrifice comfort because I love these so much and I buy them. But then this kind has a fuller go figure. That has to be on purpose, right? But anyway, yeah, I have these that I have worn these several times, but they do slip, so. Mm. Girl. And last but not least. Okay, so the anniversary shoe, this is an anniversary shoe that I think came out, I want to say this was 2012, was a, like a reprint, like a anniversary, because they started with the Cortez in 72, so yeah, at 40 years, at 22 it was 50 years, but they did an anniversary type, and I have worn these, but yeah, they're like the originals with that little tiny piece on the toe and the rounded back. Oh my God, these are one of my favorites. Like, they have this little leather piece. Oh, yeah, they just went in and reprinted the uh, 2000, or 72 pair. But they're newer, you know what I mean? You can, I think you can tell because the swoosh is bigger. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I do have a pair that I think is from the 80s or 90s, and I never, I never wear these. You can tell the, um, <laughs> They're a little narrow for one, and they've started, it was after they started seaming up this part, and they did make the Nike, these might even be a reprint, but when I bought them online, the ad for them said, brand new pair from the 80s, so the sucker that I am, I'm like, oh girl, I need them, but when I got them, I was like, I don't know, but you can see that the glue, they did have this kind of thing right here back then, the glue has gone all yellow and crazy, and uh, I don't think that I can wear these. I, I feel like these are really stiff. Girl, you know I love that anyway, but I feel like they're too stiff and a little too narrow for me, and they, of course, had the blue, like they did these blue bottoms, and these aren't originals, but they reprinted the original, but yeah, that's why I think maybe I got suckered, I don't know, but like Pairs from the 80s and 90s are still going for a lot of money. I just, I'm just such a sneaker lover. I'm not a sneaker head because I don't really know all the like latest. I can tell you that I would love to have a pair of like the one pair, I see them all the time, are the uh, Stranger Things Hawkins Middle School pair. They have a green swoosh and then the Hawkins label or logo on the back and then they have the red in the sole. Yeah, I would love that. They kind of remind me of Christmas. Y'all know I love Christmas. So anyway, those are the Cortez that I could find and dig out for you today. <laughs> strange and crazy obsessions. It's not really that strange to be a sneakerhead or to, not, I'm not really a sneakerhead, but to, to love sneakers and shoes. That's my first love, my first passion. I don't think I'll ever stop loving sneakers. Y'all know I've gotten into a rabbit hole with Golden Goose and I mean, tree torn back in the day. Oh girl, I have a couple of, I have a couple pairs of tree torn sitting over here thanks to my, uh, one of my friends got me one time. Okay, and these are all of the dock sides that I own at this point. I've gotten rid of some because Bill was like, I swear to God, you are almost walking <laughs> on the leather in these shoes. Like, throw them out. We'll get you another pair. Because I've worn these ever since I was a little kid. I just, I love, I love Sebago for one. I love all the Sebago shoes. But uh, let me show you some old ones that I never wear anymore, but I really am kind of hard pressed to get rid of them, but they're not really in style. Nobody ever wears these. But do you guys remember the Sebago campsides? I've gone through about four pairs of these. And the last pair I bought was this pair. It's been years and years and years ago, probably 25 years ago, I bought these. And I wore them a few times, not much, but they just, you know, they've gone out of, st they're not, they're not a thing anymore, guys. They're just not a thing. So I don't wear them, but I don't, I, I just, I don't know. I have a hard time giving them up. But those are the only out of the way, like out of the that I don't wear, but I, well, I've got a couple pairs that I don't wear and I just don't want to get rid of. Now these, this is like my fifth pair of these and they are, when I tell you she has worn the damn soles off of, look girl, you think I, look at this. 
yeah when they get to about here bill's like yeah it's almost time but they get so much more comfortable as you wear them but yeah these are a summer shoe for me that i just i wear like when i'm running out in my capris or whatever because they're so easy to grab and go these i wear instead of even flip-flops and when my mom you know um she lived down at the lake they were great to go down and because they had a boat and stuff and wear so yeah girl i i love this pair i've probably had the blue ones i don't know 15 years still going strong but yes girl she's starting to walk out of these as well but i love i used to have a really light tan pair i had a white pair at one point i had a multicolored pair but it was so long ago it was even before i dated bill the guy that i was dating at the time told me he would not be seen with me if i wore him out so i kind of took him back but honey i made him go buy me a regular pair <laughs> i took those multicolored ones back and I sure did go down and get a pair. But anyway, I have a brand new pair because, and I've worn them a few times, but Bill, <laughs> there used to be a Sebago store when we'd go on vacation. I think it's gone now, but it was in with like Merrill or something, footwear. And he literally bought me these because that one pair I showed you were so, <laughs> they're so old and crusty. He's like, okay gonna get you a new pair now you can start wearing these forever but i was like uh, no ma'am i'm i'm gonna keep wearing both so i did just that but these i love but they're my fancy go to church uh meeting shoes girl <laughs> now these are the most precious i can't even wear them anymore i cannot wear them but they don't make this style anymore and i want to say these are from the 80s maybe the 90s the square toed okay look at this do you guys remember this from back in the day the square toed dockside <gasps> i will never i don't i don't i know these can't I, I know i can't wear these they're too small on my foot but i don't care i just i love the squared off toe because they don't make this style anymore they quit making it like 40 years ago or whatever. I just love them. I got crazy one day on the Sebago outlet site. They had a Sebago site of some sort and they were all on sale. And I bought these fancy little, the, you know what? I think the reason I don't wear these, they're the couple of things that I don't really love, which is like, I don't like denim except in my jeans and they're kind of glittery and glossy. Glittery I love, but these are kind of I don't know. I, they have a sheen to them and I just rarely wear these. I've worn them a couple times, but I like the pink in them, but they did not look like this online. So when I got them, I was kind of like, eh, I should have sent them back. I probably should have sent them back. But anyway, they're, they're in the old collection. And one more pair and these are comfortable, but a suede pair that are just so comfortable. They're like gray. Ooh, girl. What do you know about these? I've, I've worn these very little. I probably need to wear these. They're just like wearing nothing. Oh, so those are my strange obsessions or my obsessions that you didn't know anything about. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can see my batteries dying on this uh, phone. So I probably talked for 30 minutes about these shoes. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend and I will be back here. I think my dog's like knocking on the door. She wants to eat. I will be back here on Monday and we're going to have a really good time. <laughs> Hopefully Ed will be back on the live on Tuesday. I've been touching shoes. I don't want to touch my face, but anyway, so yeah, please do me a favor and hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what your obsessions besides luxury. Tell me everything because I want to know and do me one more favor, girl. If y'all see my husband, ooh, hoo, hoo, don't tell him nothing. Bye. Okay, girl, a couple of things I need to tell you about before this battery dies but everybody's been asking me have you not got the new portland leather goods mini tiny bag charm bag yet yes i did and it's been sitting downstairs for about three weeks i had points on portland plg the site i think i paid shipping on i think i paid like eight dollars for this little thing so i was like mm, when autumn told me about it i said yes please i'll take it i didn't feel like i needed a bunch of them i know there are two or three styles in the little tiny ones but I just, I just wanted one. Oh my God, now I want them all. Look how friggin' cute. Okay, this color, 
this color is everything. <laughs> It's called Sweet Pea. Guys, I thought I had a bag in Sweet Pea. I do not. Ooh, girl. How friggin' cute is Sweet Pea? Oh my God. Yes. They used to call my grandma Sweet Pea. She was constantly having UTIs. <laughs> you got it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> purpley mauve color mauve eggplant oh girl what do you know about the eggplant i love it i saw that dd Dee Dee had maybe like a bag then a bag charm then a bag charm on that and i was like oh, that's a great idea but look how stinking cute oh my god i'm in love and i need to tell y'all one more thing it's a very exciting day because as i went on the hunt for all these shoes it took me a minute I started like uncovering things that I had missed for years. Girl, the very first Louis Vuitton bag that I ever bought at an actual in-person in the boutique was my Cabo Piano, right? I found the original bag from that purchase. Ah, I think it was 2005, I wanna say. And it had some Louis Vuitton. Okay, so the tissue is not that special. I thought it was stamped or whatever but I don't think so I just think it's regular tissue wah, wah, but I did save it how cool is that but yeah I found my original Louis Vuitton bag from my cab of piano very exciting it's like old home days here all the nostalgia I love it oh gosh guys do me a favor I'm gonna put a video right here go ahead and keep on watching these shoes were made for walking, walking, and one of these days I'm gonna walk all over you, if you'll let me. Some people have that kink, right? Ooh, girl, yes, then let's do it. Biatch!